Harley-Davidson. You gotta stop by Smoke in the City. It is legit barbecue. Don't forget to check out Brandon's YouTube channel. It's Brandon's Bikes. Like and follow him. What's going on, two wheelers? Welcome back. As you can see, we are entering the Shenandoah National Park and we are gonna do a ride on Skyline Drive. But before we go any further, don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit the notification button. That way you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Also, don't forget to check out Brandon's Bikes Instagram and Facebook account, both of them at Brandon's Bikes. All right, so this was actually kind of a busy day going into the park. I sat in traffic for probably 15 minutes or so, and, um, and it was really hot. It was in the 90s, and I'd already been riding for a couple of hours, so I was really sweating pretty good. I sat in this traffic for probably about five minutes, and then I pulled over and took off my, uh, my jacket because it, it was just way too hot. All right, so right here we've got one of our overlooks. There's many overlooks throughout Skyline Drive. To be honest with you, I think that if you've seen one of them, that you've seen all of them, um, they all have a little bit of a different view, but for the most part, you're seeing the same thing. You're seeing the mountains in the background, you're seeing the, the towns below, um, but not to take away from any of the overlooks. It definitely is very nice. And some of them are bigger than others. Some of them have bigger parking lots, and uh, some of them, the views are a little bit more expansive, but for the most part, they're, they're pretty similar. All right, so this video is gonna be me narrating you through my ride. And other than that, it's just gonna be the music and the scenery. So just sit back, relax, and let's go for a ride. of the, the speed limit throughout the park is, is pretty slow. Um, I think from what I remember, it ranged anywhere from 25 to 40. And I was kind of surprised because given the amount of traffic to get into the park, there really was not that much traffic on the road in the park. Um, you know, it's easy to get stuck behind a car and it, it makes for a less enjoyable motorcycle ride. But this was actually really good there was not much traffic in the actual park. So this was my first overlook that I stopped at and 
And uh, of course, you know, I had to get some U-turn practice while I was here. So I did do a, uh, a right U-turn right here. And of course, I had to follow it up with the left because you got to practice on both sides. Uh, but I do not show the left. But this is actually one of the, the bigger parking spots. It's, um, it's got you know, like a horseshoe shape kind of parking lot off to the side, which is nice because some of them don't have that. Some of them, it's literally just kind of like a shoulder on the side of the road. So that was actually a really good spot. out a, uh, a different camera setup because I, I've just got a, a fixed mount and if I want to move the camera to get a different angle which I wish I could have gotten you some shots off to the right here then then I need to pull over and physically move the camera there's a couple of different options that I'm looking at for mounts but ultimately I'd like to get a, uh, a 360 camera so if GoPro or Insta 360 are listening and they want to uh, go in and sponsor Brandon's bikes let me know send me an email Brandon at Brandon's bikes.com and, uh, and let me know what you want to do for me. That way we can get some better shots. All right, so you probably can't see it, but there's actually lots of hiking in this park as well. Lots of hiking and pull-offs for picnic areas and group events as well. This is one of those shoulder parking lots that I was telling you about. And this was one of the more expansive views. Um, you know, you can see the mountains in the background. This was, this was definitely one of the better views that I saw. Uh, again, I wish I could show you off to the right over that, that stone wall because the, the views are just gorgeous. So coming up here, we've got another one of those big turnouts that I was telling you about. Lots of good parking.
All right, so I did get tired of that, that camera angle. I wanted to give you some different shots, so I did pull over and um, I had to physically move the camera. Again, GoPro 360, Insta360. If you're listening, I would get some killer shots right here. But you can see over the, the stone wall a little bit. You can get some of the views. Got my troll in the background. Got my Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle uh, wristband from Robert Simmons. If you haven't seen him, check out his YouTube channel, Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. I will leave a link to the YouTube channel in the video itself. All right, so here's a little drive-by for you. I didn't stop, uh, you know, all the overlooks, you keep stopping and you know, you'll never get out of that park. So here is just a little drive-by for you. Rocking out to my music on my Cardo Pack Dog Black. All right, two wheelers. We are in Skyline. I'm tired of taking the helmet off, so I'm leaving it on. This is what pretty much every um, every overlook looks like. I mean, just scenic, the mountains. This one's a little bit more closed off than some of the other ones. It's definitely a slow ride. It's a scenic ride. I think, like I said, the speed limit's like 25 to 35. If you get stuck behind some cars, then, you know, it is what it is. But it's awesome. It's a great ride. So we're going to keep, keep going. All right, so it was getting late in the day, like I mentioned earlier. I'd already been riding for a few hours north and then a couple of hours west. Uh, so it was getting late in the day. I still had, from this point back home, probably another two hours to ride. And there was actually some rain clouds off to the uh, to the right side. You can't see them, obviously. But it was, it was actually raining pretty good on that right side. And I didn't want to get caught in the rain. I didn't have any gear. And like I said, it was getting late. So I started heading back. All right, two wheelers, in closing, I only rode about half of Skyline Drive, if that. It's about 100 miles total, but I did not ride the whole thing. Definitely recommend it though, especially on a motorcycle. Highly recommend you check out Skyline Drive. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to Brandon's Bike's YouTube channel. Hit the notification button so you get notified every time I drop a video. And also check out the Brandon's Bike's Instagram and Brandon's Bike's Facebook page. Until next time, two wheelers, keep the rubber side down.